I'm John Renison in the Rosedale neighborhood of Hamilton where the Institute for Catastrophic Loss is showcasing Mary Lou Tanner's home and the efforts she has made to prevent her home from flooding in a major rainstorm. Um, the Institute for Catastrophic Loss Production works with the insurance industry and the largest cost in the last five years for insurance companies has come from the damage associated with basement flooding. Today we're showing a home where the homeowner has aggressively taken action to reduce her risk of basement flooding. We want to showcase the best actions that can be taken by homeowners. This house was built in 1951 and this neighborhood was built around that time. It was prior to Hurricane Hazel so neighborhoods at that time were not built to take overland flow which is the major routes uh, to replace the creeks and streams and houses were built just in in a way that uh, didn't address uh, surface drainage very well in terms of what we know today. So in 2009, in the major storm in July 2009, this house flooded and there was just over a foot of water in the basement. It was the first time this neighborhood had flooded. In the previous storms, 2004, 2005, 2006, this neighborhood had not flooded. The damage to my home was extensive. The basement was finished and at the time and it required uh, removal of part of the drywall, carpeting, furniture, anything the water touched had to be removed and destroyed because it was contaminated by sewage. The restoration work that I have done included significant work on floodproofing my home. I have disconnected all of the downspouts and put in rain barrels. I have put in a sump pump to take uh, the weeping tiles and a surface drain that was draining through the internal plumbing in my house. And I've put a gas fire generator in to uh, ensure that the sump pump will continue to work in the event that the house loses power during a major rainstorm. More recently I've put in uh, a second sump pump as a backup system to protect the house in the case of heavy rains and overflowing of the first sump. And also some landscaping work was done to take flow of rainwater away from the house and onto the lawn so it, it keeps it away from hitting the sump pump. I am really lucky to have wonderful neighbors who have redirected their downspouts and also uh, they used to backwash their swimming pool into that drain so it was going through my house they now backwash it out to the street. All in all the work uh, has ensured that uh, I will protect my house from uh, any future potential flooding. And the final thing that I did was install the backwater valve with the help of the City of Hamilton grant program so that any sewer backup is uh, prevented. With all of this work, I've been very lucky to maintain my homeowner insurance as well as my sewer backup insurance on the house. You see the windows here? They were actually at grade. Um, and uh, so the window wells were dug out and the covers were put in to keep, uh, keep any surface flow from actually running through. Uh, the windows are finding a weak spot in the windows. Water will find its way to the weakest spot and if there was any opportunity for it to um, go through the windows if the windows were open or you know if there's just so much water and so much pressure um, they can actually blow out a window so uh, these are really beneficial to uh, protecting uh, any overland uh, flow from getting in. So you're from the storm in 2009, you said you were close to the high water point on the street? Here? I was, yes. Um, where my house is and across the street and then heading east, we all had at least a foot of water in our basements. Um, heading west from my house, neighbors had uh, maybe an inch or so of water in their basement, so maybe the carpet was a little bit wet, but certainly not the damage that the rest of us saw. There have been some very heavy rain events that have led to large damage losses. For example, the home we're at today, it experienced $75,000 worth of damage from a rain event in 2009. We've had some storms that did damage of half a billion dollars just in one neighborhood from a rain event. And across the country as a whole, the insurance industry is paying out billions of dollars each year in water damage claims from heavy rain events. And how, many, how much of this uh, damage is actually preventable by the homeowners? We believe that a comprehensive plan to reduce the risk of damage requires cities to spend money, more money than they are right now, on infrastructure, but also requires homeowners to get involved. Homeowners can take protective action as we showcase in this home, and we believe that a very significant amount, but we don't know how much of it can be prevented, but we think that losses can go back to the low levels that we used to experience several decades ago.
Do you have any opinion on why we're suddenly seeing in uh, recent years these uh, high losses from storm damage? There has not been a comprehensive study explaining why losses have increased as much as they have. Some of the reasons that we speculate about why losses are coming up is that our infrastructure systems are getting old, people's behavior are changing, for example, having finished basements rather than basements just used for storage. Also, we're concerned about the weather changing. There do seem to be more large storm events, and we think that will be at least an increased factor in the future.